Hey out there and welcome, I'm Kate and I'm glad that you're here with me today. I have a fun, funky flow that we're going to get into some outer hips, some glutes, just some stepping and I don't know, it's gonna be great. So a couple of blocks if you want them, just take my word for it. A couple of blocks if you want them, maybe a blanket, find a quiet spot, roll out your mat and let's have some fun today. We are going to start on our backs. So go ahead and lay down. Oh. <laughs> and just take a few breaths here with your feet flat on the mat, arms out to the sides, palms up or down, whatever you feel more comfortable doing, right? And then just let your knees kind of windshield wiper for a second. Let them go gently side to side. Yeah. All right. Then you're going to take those legs and stretch them out and take a few breaths here. Just feel your body soften like you could do a full body sigh and relax into the floor. And just take a few moments to enjoy the fact that you are here. You got the chance to roll out your mat and here you are laying down <laughs> and breathing. And feel your breath deepen. Enjoy the rise and fall of your inhale and your exhale. And start to move your fingers and wiggle your toes. Let your head go side to side. That's it. And then you're going to hug both knees into your chest. And then just start making circles with your knees out and around in opposite directions. Oh, yeah. Like we're doing the, I don't know, the breaststroke with your legs, right? <laughs> and then take them in the other direction. There's a dog outside trying desperately to get in. <laughs> I think she just gave up though. All right, and then from here, you're gonna keep your right knee into your chest, stretch your left leg out, oh, and just give it a hug. And slide your hands behind your thigh here, and you're gonna kick your leg straight up. Press the back of your thigh into your hands and reach up through your heel. And then point and flex to your foot. Oh, maybe some circles. And pause here for another moment as you reach up to the back of your leg. And then you're gonna bend your left knee, take your right ankle over the top of your thigh, draw your left knee in, come into a figure four. Nice soft shoulders. Keep that right foot flexed and just breathe. Nice, and then stretch that left leg out again, pull your right knee into your chest and you're gonna take your knee into your left hand and cross it over, give yourself a twist here. And slide your gaze across your right arm for that right shoulder sink in. Then you're going to keep rolling to your left until you come onto your stomach and you roll right into the gigantic plant in your face. <laughs> and we're going to prop yourself up on your elbows. Come on into Sphinx. That right knee is still bent out to the side. Feel your low belly draw in and up. And maybe you would like to bend that left knee. <laughs> Pull your heel in toward the back of your head. And then stretch that left leg out. Come all the way down onto your stomach again, and you're gonna roll onto your back one more time. Right knee into your chest, and then bring that right leg into a half happy baby. Beautiful. And then pull both knees into your chest. And same deal here, we're gonna do little circles. Swimming. <laughs> and then in the other direction. All right, left knee in, stretch your right leg out. 
I'll stop being so ridiculous. <laughs> Pull that knee in and just hug. <sighs> Slide your hands behind your thighs, stretch up. Press the back of your thigh into your hands. Push up into your heel, breathe. You got this, and then a point and flex. And maybe some circles if you feel like you need a little ankle action here. Yeah. All right, and then bend your right knee, take your left ankle over the top of your thigh. We're gonna do a figure four. Ooh. Maybe this side feels a bit different than the other. Eek. Stay soft through your shoulders. Notice if you've gotten tense in your jaw, your cheeks. Another breath here. And then pull that left knee back into your chest. Right leg stretches out. Knee into that right hand. Cross it over. Take your gaze over to the left. Feel your tailbone lengthen here in this twist. And then you're gonna keep rolling all the way over to the right and so you're gonna come onto your stomach and you're gonna come off your mat, it's cool. Prop yourself up on your elbows. Low belly stays lifted, tailbone long. Lift your chest. And then if you'd like, you can bend your back knee. Oh, pull your heel in toward the back of your head. This is our sexy sphinx pose. <laughs> and then stretch your right leg out. Come all the way onto your back again. Left leg into a half happy baby. Oh. Yeah. And then why not, you can bring your right leg in too. Maybe rock a little side to side. And then both knees into your chest. You're gonna roll forward and back and come on up into your table. And from table, just roll through a couple of rounds of cat and cow. And work into any places that you may feel tight, right? If you need to move your head differently or you need to move your hips or take it side to side, all of those things are completely legal here. <laughs> Let's go for one more. Gorgeous, and then come back to your table. Take your right foot, step it back behind you, tuck your toes. Push through your heel and rock in and out. Get into your foot there. Then you're gonna float your right leg up, sweep it over to the left. Tuck your toes again, push through your heel there. And then take your gaze over your left shoulder. Take a deep breath into the right side rib cage there, like you could fan it out. And then lift this right leg up, sorry plant. We're gonna kick up and around, tap those toes out to the right. Boop, and then bring them up. Sweep them around, <laughs> tap it over to the left. A few more times here, over to the right, and back through to the left. And we're gonna swing it up <laughs> and over to the right, and then drop your foot out to the side. And then try to find some square hips here. It's kind of wonky, because your right leg is not square with the left, but that's okay, walk your hands forward. Spread your fingers, wrap your triceps in, pull your hips back. We're gonna do a little puppy pose here. And walk your hands back underneath you. Left hand's gonna sweep up, inhale. When you exhale, thread it underneath, slide those left fingertips toward your right big toe. Maybe you can find that big toe, maybe not. Pop onto your right fingertips, roll that right shoulder open. You can hang right here. If you wanna take that right hand up, roll it around and find a bit of a twist here, you can do that too. Oh. Right hand to the mat. Press into the floor, sweep your left arm up. And then windmill that left hand forward and back down onto the floor. And now we're gonna like elevator lift this right leg. You ready? Lift it up, Ugh. and then bend your knee. And start to roll some circles here, out and around. 
gorgeous. And then in the other direction, all the while, just be aware of what's going on with your outer left hip and try to keep that steady. Then you're gonna bring your inner thighs parallel, sweep your right knee open, fire hydrant style, and then down. Sweep it open and down. One more. Keep the lift here and now take the sole of your foot and kick it back behind you. So your shin is now kind of parallel with the back edge of your mat, inner thigh still parallel with the floor. And now take your right ankle and you're gonna tap it down to your left Achilles and then lift it back up and lower it down and lift it back up. One more. And then lift it back up, hold it here and then sweep your heel toward the sky. So we're back in table, hips square again to the, the mat, right? Take this knee now and you're gonna tap it to the outside of your left calf and then sweep it up and bring it over and tap it to your right tricep. Sweep it up and over and across to the left and up and over and across to the right. Last one, up and over and tap and bring it to that right tricep. And now we're gonna bring it behind that left leg again. Tap it there and then nestle in. Feel that right knee slide next to the left. Sweep your feet as far away from each other as you can, walk your hands back. And maybe this is where a block or a blanket comes in underneath your butt. Oh, we're gonna sit all the way back and the go <laughs> Okay, here we are. Lengthen up here and then fold it forward. Nice, long, easy breath. Ah, feel those sitting bones root back behind you. Maybe the fold is more of an upright position. It is what it is, right? Okay, you're gonna rock it forward again. Come back into your weird crisscrossy table thing and then take your right foot, kick it straight back. Step your right foot up between your thumbs. Ah, inhale. Come on up, Anjane Asana, tailbone nice and long. <sighs> Full breath here. When you exhale, pull your hips back, work to straighten that front leg, sweep your hands behind you. Inhale, rock it forward, lift back into your Anjane. Exhale, take that left hand to the floor, roll it open into a twist. Nice full breath. And then windmill that right hand back down to the floor. Step it back, downward facing dog. And wiggle it out for a moment. Inhale, rock forward, find your plank. Exhale, lower it through your vinyasa knees, chest chin. Chaturanga. Up dog, baby cobra, any of the things. Downward facing dog, pull it back. Hmm. Now on your next exhale, drop those knees to the mat. Okay, left foot's gonna go back behind you. Tuck your toes, rock in and out. Yes, and then float that leg up. Sweep it over to the right. Tuck your toes, push through that heel. Oh, hook over your right shoulder. Nice deep breath into that left side. Ah, yes. Okay, and then back through center. You're gonna take this leg up, sweep it over to the left, tap your toes. Inhale, lift up, ooh, over the plant. Exhale, tap to the right. Keep it going, try to keep your hips as steady as you can here. Core strong, tap it back and behind you. One more time. And over to the right. And you're gonna tap it out to the left. Drop that foot to the mat. Work square through the hips. It's gonna be a second maybe. And then walk those hands forward, puppy pose. Spread your fingers, right? Wrap your triceps in, plug your arm bones in, and then pull your hips back. Feel those upper arms lift away from the floor as your chest drops down, another breath. And walk your hands back underneath you. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. Exhale, we thread the needle. Right fingertips glide toward that left big toe. Maybe you find it, maybe not, it's okay. Pop onto those left fingertips for a moment, roll your shoulder open. 
And then from here, if you want that left arm can reach, you can find a half bind here. If you roll back, it's okay. Just come on back into it. And then left hand to the floor. Sweep your right arm up. And then windmill it forward. Okay, and now we're gonna do that fun little elevator lift. Are you ready? <laughs> Take that left foot, lift it up. And then bend your knee. And just work some circles out and around. So you've got this outer right hip working to stabilize, yeah? As best you can. And then circle in the other direction. Gorgeous. Oh, okay, and then inner thigh is gonna drop so they're parallel, right? Hydrant, lift that left leg out to the side and bring it back. <sighs> lift it up and drop it down. <sighs> One more, lift it up and drop it down. Now you're gonna lift it up, sweep it back behind you. <sharp inhale> so your shin's kind of in line with the wall behind you, right? And then drop that left ankle, keeping this figure four shape, right? Lift your left leg back up. <sighs> And drop it down and lift it up. Oh, one more. And drop it down and lift it up. Take that left heel toward the sky. And now left knee is going to tap over to the outside. Boop. And then sweep it around and tap your tricep. Bring it up and around and tap. And then up and around and tap. <laughs> Keep it going over and across to the right into that left side and then over and across to the right till you nestle that left knee in spread your heels far apart walk your hands back <sighs> okay <laughs> and feel your sitting bones reach back behind you take a breath here <sighs> all right inhale when the exhale comes, you can slowly, if you want to, walk it forward into a nice, easy fold. <sighs> and then from here, come on forward. Back into your crisscrossy table. Take your left leg, reach it back, inhale. When you exhale, step it up between your thumbs, sink your hips, press into this left foot, inhale, reach it up, Anjaneyasana. When you exhale, pull those hips back, sweep your hands behind you, Ardha Hanuman. Inhale, rock it forward, reach it up. Exhale, right hand to the mat, take your twist here. And then left hand to the floor, step it back, downward facing dog. Rock forward, find your plank. And vinyasa how you want to. If you want to. <laughs> and downward facing dog. Take your gaze forward. Walk or hop, Uttanasana. Come on up. Halfway lift. And let it go. Press the floor away, come all the way up. Ward Vahasasana. Exhale, fold it right back down, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, downward facing dog. Take a breath here, feel your hands rooting to the mat. Sitting bones drag up and back. Inhale. When you exhale, drop your knees to the mat. You're gonna take your right foot, step it back. Float it up, here we go. Reach it over to that left side. Press into the ball of your right foot, press into your hands, pull your left knee into your chest. Yep, and now this left foot's gonna swing open. Step it back behind you, little baby wild thing. Open it up. Oh, yes, and now press into this right hand. Left foot is gonna step toward your right thumb. Standing split, just for a moment, press the left foot into the floor, kick your right leg out. Oh, beautiful, crescent lunge. Come on up. That's it. Deep breath here. Exhale, hands to the floor. Left leg's gonna kick up and back. Down dog split, inhale. Exhale, bend your knee, stack that hip open. And we're gonna drop back into wild thing. So drop it back. Sink your hips to the mat. 
Take that left hand, reach it to the back of the mat. Inhale, lift your hips. Left hand hits the floor. Left leg's gonna kick through, fall in triangle. Right arm reaches, and then bend your right knee. Yes, launch off that right foot, right hand to the mat. Again, wild thing. Kick it up and back, sink your hips down. Lift those hips, we're doing it again. Left hand to the floor, fall in triangle. Kick it through, bend that right knee. Sink your hips back. And then launch off that foot, right hand to the floor. One more time, spin it around, wild thing. Sink your hips, <sighs> lift it up, fall in triangle, pause here. Yes. And now press into this left foot, right foot. It's gonna step to your left thumb. <sighs> Standing split on this side, kick it up. Lengthen your spine, inhale, exhale, tap your knee, yeah, lift it up, and tap, and extend, one more, tap that knee to that right calf, kick it back, here we go, drag your left knee all the way into your chest, come on up to stand, left knee in, find your balance here. Take your fingertips to the sky, kick that left foot forward. Warrior two. Boom. <laughs> yes, and now we're gonna try a skandhasana, a little baby sequence here, right? So you're gonna shift your hips back to that left foot. Take your left hand, reach it forward, right arm's gonna reach back. And now we shift side angle, come forward, Take your right hand, reach it back. Left arm reaches forward. Warrior two. Exhale it back, Skandasana. Inhale it up. Exhale our funky side angle. One more. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Inhale, bring it up. This time exhale, find your side angle and land in it. For the sides of your body lengthen. Gorgeous, warrior two, inhale. Reverse that warrior as you exhale. Press into this front leg, straighten it out. Come on up, reach out and over, trikonasana. Half moon, you can grab for a block if you want it. Hop that back foot forward. And now from here, can you soften that right knee for a second? Bring this right hand into a half prayer, ooh, at your heart. Maybe the left hand can find it. A little unsupported Ardha Chandrasana sneak attack. You got this, breathe. Step your left foot, whoops, next to your right, chair pose. Inhale, press into your feet, lift up, stretch up. Exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana. Ah, halfway lift. It's glorious. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Rock it forward, find your plank. And vinyasa if you want it. Oh, let's do it again. <laughs> Lower your knees to the mat, come on into table. Take your left leg, kick it back, tuck your toes. Rock here, in and out. Gorgeous, gonna float it up, sweep it over to the right, press into the ball of that foot. Okay, here we go. Press into your hands, pull your right knee into your chest. And then take your right foot, step it up and around and behind you, little baby wild thingy thing wild thingy thing <laughs> and then take your gaze to the floor this right foot's going to step to your left thumb standing split press the floor away step it back now crescent lunge come on up soften your shoulders reach through your fingertips inhale exhale hands come back down to the mat sweep your right leg up and back 
Here you go, you're gonna bend your knee, stack your hip, open it up, find your wild thing. When you get there, sink your hips. Take that right hand, reach it toward the back of the mat, and then push into the floor, lift your hips. Windmill this right hand down. We're gonna come into fallen triangle. Kick your right leg through. Bend your left knee, sink your hips. And then reach it up and over. Wild thing, all around, kick it over. Sink your hips. Lift it up, right hand to the floor. You got it, find that flow. Kick your right leg through. Soften your left knee. Bring it back up. One last time around. Your wild thing, sink it down. Lift it up. This time we're gonna land in our fallen triangle. Kick that right foot through and then lift up. Okay, here we go. You're gonna shift your weight forward. Take this left foot. Step it in front of your right leg. Ho oh, ho, standing split. You got it, press the floor away. Lengthen your spine. And then take this right knee, tap it to your left calf. Kick it out. And tap it in. Kick it out. And tap it in. Kick it out. Here we go, and then draw your knee into your chest. Come all the way up to stand, right knee in. Fingertips to the sky, kick that right foot forward. And then we step it back, warrior two. Whew, are you breathing? <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Okay, we're gonna go into our skandasana. Flow, right? So sink into that right knee. Take your right hand, reach it forward. <sighs> Inhale, come on up. And when you exhale, side angle, sweep that left arm back. <sighs> Inhale, come on up. Exhale, sink it down. <sighs> Inhale it up. Exhale, side angle. <sighs> Inhale up. Exhale, sink it down. <sighs> We're gonna land in our side angle, inhale it up. Side angle, hang it right here. Soften your shoulders from your ears to the outer edge of that foot, press into the floor. Warrior two, inhale it up. Reverse, reach it back. Straighten that left leg. And then reach out and over, out and over, out and over, out and over, out and over. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Feel your feet press into the floor. Spine long. Top hand to your hip. Here we go. Half moon it, baby. Feel the top leg lift, lift, lift. Then you're gonna soften that standing leg. Maybe right hand to your heart to start. <laughs> it's a little bit easier. And then bring that left hand. Ooh, can you bring your left hand to your heart? <sighs> Chair pose. <sighs> Take those arms, reach them up. Sink your hips a little lower. <sighs> a little lower. Oh, all the way down. Come onto your back. Mm, and just roll some circles. <sighs> and then in the other direction. Okay, here we go, happy baby. Hmm, rock it here. Ooh, that's glorious. Who even knew? I'm sure you did. <laughs> and then cross that right thigh, the left. It's a little soup to go mukasana. Grab your shins or your ankles, flex your feet for that outer right hip pull away. Drop your left foot to the floor. Take your knees over to the right. You can slide your gaze to the left. Beautiful, then back up through center. Happy baby. And take your left leg, cross it over your right. Supta Gomukhasana, flex those feet. Work that outer left hip away. Try to soften your shoulders. If you've grit your teeth, cut it out. Stop that. 
arms off to the sides. You can drop your right foot down. Take your knees over to the left. Slide your gaze to the right. Mm. And bring it back up through center. Hug both knees in. And then we're gonna make circles in one direction. <laughs> and circles in the other. And this was a pretty energetic practice. So I'm gonna close with sitting so I can keep my energy up. If you need more grounding, you can of course lay down. It's up to you. So you get to pick however you wanna end this. And you get to take as long as you want. My time with you is coming to a close. So get yourself comfortable, whatever that means, and take a few breaths. If you're upright with me, let your eyes close, feel everything soften down along the length of your spine, which hopefully feels like you've got some energy in your body. Take a moment just to kind of luxuriate in the feelings of being in your body after your practice to feel that buzz underneath your skin, to feel the beating of your heart, this, this energy underneath the surface. It's always there. And if you're in Shavasana and you wanna stay for longer, please do. I'm gonna take my exit now. So palms over your heart or hands to prayer. Take a moment to quietly honor this time on your mat to say a thanks to your body and your breath and most of all to yourself for rolling out your mat today. It's not always easy. So thank you. Thank you for being here. I look forward to practicing with you again soon. Make it a great day.